ago, man would look up to the sky and wonder, could we reach it? Could we reach the stars? And then it happened. John Glenn and the Friendship Seven happened. We know about this astronaut and the senator and this American hero, but what about the team that sent him there? What about Katherine Johnson? Her contributions to NASA's early days and beyond are incalculable. Let's talk about this great American hero, mathematician, space scientist, and astrophysicist. Johnson was born in 1918 to Joshua and Joylet Coleman in White Sulphur Springs, Greenbrier County, West Virginia. Early on, Johnson showed a talent for math. Her parents emphasized the importance of an education. Johnson graduated from high school at age 14. And at age 15, she began attending West Virginia State College. As a student, Johnson took every single math course the college offered. She graduated summa cum laude in 1937 with degrees in math and in French at age 18. Johnson began a career in mathematics with interest in being a research mathematician, a path which was closed for many African-American women at the time. But then at a family gathering, a relative mentioned that the National Advisory Committee of Aeronautics, NACA, which later became known as NASA, was looking for new people. They were recently open to hiring African-American women for their guidance and navigation department. In 1958, until she retired in 1986, she worked as an aerospace technologist moving during her career to the spacecraft controls branch. She calculated the trajectory for the space flight of Alan Shepard, the first American in space, in 1959. She also calculated the launch window for his 1961 Mercury mission. She plotted backup navigational charts for astronauts in case of electronic failures. In 1962, when NASA used electronic computers for the first time to calculate John Glenn's orbit around Earth, officials called on her to verify the computer's numbers because Glenn asked for her personally and refused to fly unless Catherine verified these calculations. Johnson later worked directly with digital computers. Her ability and reputation for accuracy helped to establish confidence in this new technology. She calculated the trajectory for the 1969 Apollo 11 flight to the moon. And in 1970, Johnson worked on Apollo 13's mission to the moon. Once the mission was aborted, Johnson's work on backup procedures and charts helped safely return the crew to Earth four days later. Katherine Johnson is only now just beginning to get widespread recognition that she deserves. And in 2015, she was awarded the Presidential Medal of Freedom and a movie about her life and her colleagues titled Hidden Figures at NASA was released in 2017. Catherine's mother warned her about the difficulties that she would face as an African-American woman in Virginia. And she simply replied, tell them I'm coming.